We're in Chicago at Federal Plaza, marching against Monsanto. Today is the global march against Monsanto. Last time there was a march, two million people from around the world marched in hundreds of countries to protest Monsanto and its evil practices as a biotech industry. We're tired of the corporate entities taking control of our food system and poisoning the future generations of this planet. You can't patent nature and you're driving out farmers that have been here for centuries, suing them because of a haphazard accident, say a truck with their seeds goes by their field and one just happens to fall on their field. Our office at 20 North Michigan is a symbol of the Food and Drug Administration here, an agency charged with the protection of the nation's health by ensuring the safety of food and drugs. FDA's failure to fulfill this mission by mandating either safety testing or affirmative product labeling of genetically engineered foods is a blot on the reputation of the agency. Monsanto is the leader of poison in the world today. Hell no GMOs! 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 Gotta go! Monsanto's gotta go! Monsanto's gotta go! Monsanto's gotta go! We're gonna lead off with Frank Avera. He's with the Water Reclamation District of Chicago, Cook County. He's an elected official. And he's coming on his own accord. Our second mission is very important. We treat poop and pee. That's what we treat. We treat everything that you eat, everything, personal care products that you use, your cosmetics, your pharmaceutical drugs. We treat everything that you do during the day. The problem that we have is that they want us to remove everything at the back end. The problem is that when we get it, it's already in the environment. Kids are being born with 160 toxic chemicals in their umbilical cord already. That they should put on all the labels, all the toxic chemicals, so when a person comes and see what they're buying, they won't buy the product. How do we stop Monsanto's earth-killing, market-monopolizing, mad scientist-style rampage? Should we basically resign ourselves to the fact that this biotech bully controls the dynamics of the marketplace? Should we seek some kind of practical compromise or coexistence between organics and genetically modified organisms? Should we live in a world where the grocery store shelves are poisoned with this toxic waste? No! Just to name a few, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Japan, New Zealand, Peru, Russia, France, and Switzerland are banned! Yeah! According to Food and Water Watch, Monsanto and the biotech industry have spent over half a billion dollars lobbying Congress since 1999. Monsanto's Roundup, the agrotoxic companion herbicide, for millions of acres of the GM soybeans, corn, cotton, alfalfa, canola, and sugar beets is losing their market share though. Its overuse has spawned a new generation of super weeds that can only be killed by stronger and more toxic chemicals. We're asking people to sign a petition for Illinois uh, requiring labeling for GMOs. They have so much power that they can buy off senators, they can affect our legislation, and the only way that we're going to beat this is by coming together, boycotting, and saying, hell no, we're not going to stand for this, we're not going to watch our children get sick, we're not going to eat things that give us diseases, and we're not going to watch our planet 